Major college sports are a year-round pursuit, and while that's true, athletes still get a chance to come home in the summer. Logan Nisley is back at Century today and tomorrow for a basketball camp. Logan's first season at the University of Nebraska can best be described as a dream season. Nisley went from hoping to get a chance to prove herself to starting in the NCAA tournament. Definitely the work that I put in before I went to college was like the reason that I played. And I think getting there, that freshman mentality is like I have to prove myself, I have to be able to, you know, play at this level. And you never really know what that level looks like until you get there. And I feel like the speed of the game, like the caliber of the athletes is just so crazy when you get there. So picturing yourself in that puzzle is really difficult. Nisley will be back at the Olsen Gym tomorrow for the second day of camp, and we'll have much more with Logan on First News at 10. Well, if I say leeches, most people will cringe a little. But if I say leeches to someone who fishes, they're probably going to smile a little bit. Johnny Candle explains in this week's Pros Pointer. If you've been shopping for bait recently, you've probably realized leeches are really tough to come by in the middle of the summer. Well, I work pretty hard to make sure I've got bait all season long, and here's a few of the things that I like to do. First of all, I get in there and I get those dead ones out as often as I possibly can. It seems like once there's a dead leech in the pail, many more are soon to follow. The second thing I do is I use a large container and I try not to overpopulate that container. Putting too many leeches in a confined area is sure to make them die sooner. Then I store them very cold. I like to keep my fridge between 38 and 40 degrees. I'm not so certain leeches hibernate, but it definitely slows their metabolism enough that they live quite a bit longer. And the last thing I do, which I think is very, very critical, is I keep a second bucket of water in the fridge at the same temperature. That way, when I'm transferring my leeches from the dirty water to the clean water, I'm not shocking that bait, causing a premature death. Now, if you think this is a lot of hassle just to keep leeches alive through the entire fishing season, trust me, when you're the only guy on the lake with leeches this September, you're going to thank me. I'm Johnny Candle, and that's this week's Pros Pointer. Well, next week, Johnny focuses on lakes with green water. And while that might not be the best to swim in, they could be helpful to fishermen. We'll be right back.